Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Well, you can tell from the title of this video that this is all about Charlotte Tilbury. And y'all know that I had ordered um, some new product. Y'all know that um, I am a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan. Of course, y'all already know that. I can't help it. It's good stuff. Here's why I think it's good stuff. Besides the fact that it's second to none packaging. Second to none. How y'all doing? I'm sorry. We didn't even have... I was going to have coffee, but I'm having tea because it's British. And my favorite tea is the Bigelow Orange Spice. It's my favorite. I don't even add cream or sweetener to it. I just love it. Um, but anyway... I want to wear my new earrings, y'all. These are the ones that I got from Francesca's. Aren't they cute? I like them. But anyway, um, so what was I going to tell y'all? Oh, that I got new stuff. And um, I've been trying it, and I can't seem, you know how we talked about where we were going to use, like go through our makeup drawer and use old product and, you know, just um, just make sure that we're using what we've bought in the past. i got to tell y'all, this may be, Something that I buy and I don't buy anything else for a long time, brand-wise. I know. Can you believe it? But, y'all know I'm always buying Charlotte Tilbury because I always like whatever she comes out with. I My big thing that I'm saving up for so bad that I really would like to have is her big magic cream that's got the gold top and the gold running in the bottom. So pretty. It's very expensive. Here's the thing. Some people would say, it's just too expensive for me. Sometimes I think it's better to save up for something that you know is better quality, it's something luxurious that you're going to really enjoy, um, sometimes it's worth it to save up. Like when I have for a purse, a handbag that I want, like I saved up for my um, Chanel. And I'm still making payments, but anyway. Um, I think when you really, really like something and you think it's worth it, and if you can... I think it's it's better to go ahead and instead of getting 10 little things, to get one good thing that you like. And this is my number one thing. Of all the face palettes, y'all know this already, but of all the face palettes that I have ever tried, okay, this is the new one, but I'm using the one that has already hit pan, and I need to get more because I'm already worried that she's going to change and not have this color. But it's the instant look in a palette. It's five-minute face to go. I don't know if I could do it in five minutes. I've tried. But anyway, Seductive Beauty. It's my favorite one. Look at this big, huge mirror. It's And that matters to me when I'm getting ready to have a nice size mirror. It's hard plastic. It's not cheap. Um, and that costs money to make things better. And also, she's very into getting the science and research behind her products, which costs money, um, to make them anti-aging, to make them have better blendability. And hands down hers do blend better and that's because she's a professional makeup artist to like the big wigs like Hollywood and all over the world not just Hollywood but big time name stars models uh, spokespeople rock stars but um seriously she does makeup for people all over the world who are really like top media people so her stuff has to blend well she has to be able to do her job well and the fact that she got into makeup, I remember when it was just being sold in um, the UK and I was like so down because I was like when, you know, I had it shipped. At one point you couldn't get it, then you could get it shipped and now you can get it here. So anyway, absolutely love it. Y'all know that this is my favorite palette. It is Seductive Beauty and she always has a highlight color, a transition color, and a darker color that you can use both. Y'all know that I use a smudger brush underneath to do my liner. And also, I run it through my brow to kind of darken my brow because as you get older, your brows just kind of say, I'm leaving. Um, and then it's got a bronzer to just do some contouring. It's got highlight that you can do, you know, down your, the top of your nose, the end of your nose, on your cupid's bow, and on the top of your chin. And you can do it right here, uh, but on the, where you, um, I guess you would say your brow bone, but that's actually your brow bone. And you can put it there too. Even though you have a highlight color for your eyes there, you can also, if you like this color better, you can put this on your inner corner and your um, brow bone. But I'm thinking, what am I trying to say here? Where you furrow your brow? The 11s, not actually in the 11s, but right here, right on top. I kind of put a little there. It just puts the light in the center of your face, and it brightens it. 
and y'all know that highlighting highlights draws light and the contouring gives you shadows and contours so the way that I use it I just got this little brush with this other one but I'll show you in a minute um but this is the cutest I've got some of her brushes but anyway her um, contour brush already but um so you can use this I barely even mesh it in there I don't even swoosh it all around and waste it and you can just cut in right on the back side and it gives you cheekbones do you see how you it just this is white and there's your line and you can just kind of fuzz it out so it doesn't look like an absolute line and it gives you cheekbones if you have a large nose like me I blow out and do the end of my nose so it doesn't go up my nose like this just the end of it and what that does when you put this on top it kind of makes an elongated look and then this is darker again use the dark color underneath here where my little fatties reside so it doesn't look so bad and I've got a bulbous chin so I kind of go under there and then I kind of do here remember to blend down whenever you do a line blend it out and what that's doing is just giving a little bit of a shadow so I don't look so hmm, like I ate one too many pieces of pie <laughs> but I did I know I gotta get serious and lose some weight but anyway okay so highlighter and then you've got these blushes so you've got the swish and pop and the reason she does that is you can use the lighter color I'm not gonna use it right now because of another reason I'm fixing to show you but you can use the lighter color to blush with and um, I'm sorry the darker color to blush. you can do either but I think she would say use your darker color here and then you would use your um, your lighter color to smile and get your she calls it a pop so you would do that but just to get the apples of your cheeks and I also like to put it on the brow of my nose but anyway I will show you and also the temples and the hairline um, but anyway so y'all know that I wanted I also have the um, beauty glow which I also like it's got a little more of a rust tone oops sorry in the mirror the rust tones but I love this it's great for winter it's great for summer and fall this is a really great palette but now I've gotten a new one and this is the one called natural beauty and when remember the other day when I first reviewed it I said oh no I think that's going to be too light y'all it's not it's not too light at all it's actually perfect for summer I'm trying to make it where you don't see the mirror um but it's perfect for um, summer and spring because it's lighter, but it's dark enough. It is dark enough. I was afraid this color wasn't dark enough to, you know, backfill my brow a little bit and to do my um, shading underneath my lash line. But it is. This I use for all over. And this is the color, instead of transition, this is the color that I use for highlight. And this I use in the crease and just smoke it out a little bit so that I don't have, if I want to darken the outer V, I just wet the brush a little and put a little extra in the outer V and I can go under the lash line I can go through the brow and then of course the swish and pop blushes and this is an incredible okay y'all this is quite a little highlight careful with it because it's almost got like a champagne gold undertone to it absolutely love it but what can beat this? Look at this packaging. Her packaging is second to none. I'm in love with it. It's still got that beautiful burgundy and rose gold, but this is that. Um, the packaging is even more. Also, look, here's a lipstick I have right back up here. Look. I mean, you want to put this in your purse when you're going out just to touch up your makeup in public by accident. Ooh. Your lipstick, or maybe you need to just check and see. If your hair is all right in here it's so pretty I don't know if it's supposed to be art deco 20s 40s I don't know what this is supposed to be but it is so luxurious and again second to none absolutely the best where's my glasses let me see how much time we've got together okay three more minutes okay so what did I want to say about it oh I also got this sample and I think I have already gotten one of these before because I think I already did a review on this and this is um, um, Instant Magic Facial Dry Sheet Mask. Expert facialist results in just 15 minutes. Hydrates, lifts, reduces wrinkles, smooths, and brightens. See, she's all about the ingredients because, again, she is a professional makeup artist to some of the greats, and it better work. <laughs> Wouldn't you want that on your face? But anyway, so I've got a few of these, but I got another sample of it. So, there, this sample... And a couple of other samples I got because I ended up getting 
the full size product on some of this stuff like oh my gosh her face cream again second to none I love it I want to get the big one though the big it's like this big yeah I want it but anyway save up for it later all right so here is the miracle glow multi miracle glow and this is a cleanser and mask it's a bomb for getting your skin really really soft and then of course there is the goddess skin clay mask Again, these are little sample sizes, and so I am going to include those two samples and this sample in the spring giveaway. Yes, y'all. This spring giveaway, I think, is going to be the biggest giveaway I've ever done, because these are just Charlotte Tilbury products in my giveaway. Yes. Okay, so this is Take It All Off um, Genius Eye Makeup Remover. Look how it looks like the ocean. You could just sit and play with it. I would keep this in my purse just to play with it. Just to watch the ocean. But really, you shake it up before you use it. Isn't that fun? I just love it. Look, even this. All of her product. Look at the rose gold. It's just, she has pure consistency throughout the line. Look, just look. Rose gold. Again, this is another product that I would say, if you get nothing else, get her. God, there's so many things. Y'all know that I love, I even got what was in this just so I could get this makeup pouch because I wanted the one with gold kisses, but I already have the white one with red kisses, and I love it. But her eye, um, eyelash curler, second to none. It's longer this way. It's wider this way. It's so easy to get all your lashes at one time without squinching them. Anyway, some of these things, oh, I didn't show you inside. Look. That's what I'm wearing, y'all. It's so pretty. Look. This pink and bronze will go with anything. Anybody's skin. So nice. Anyway, I just wanted to show you all this stuff and tell you I love it. And I will see you again in my next video. We'll talk about the spring giveaway. Bye! Bye, 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 Are you serious?